This is the Danny K Show with Eve Arden, Lionel Stander, Bob Jellison, Kitty Callan, Buddy DeVito, yours truly Ken Niles, and the outstanding music of America's top band, Harry James and his music makers. <laughs> Yes, neighbors, for your entertainment, Pat's Blue Ribbon, 33 fine brews blended into one great beer, presents 33 fine talents blended into one great comedian, Danny Kay. Hello, airport. This is Danny Kay again. Is the 7.30 plane going to take off on time? What? Oh, well, do you think there's a chance of it getting through? Hmm. Well, how's the weather over the Rockies? Hmm. Well, all right. If you're ready to take the chance, I will. Goodbye. Danny, are you taking a plane trip again? Oh, no. I just wanted to see if it was safe to send this letter air mail. <laughs> All that fuss about an airmail letter. I'm surprised you didn't ask for a fighter escort. Say, that's a... <laughs> oh, you. That's a pretty good idea. Hello, airport? Get off that phone. <laughs> Evie, this isn't just an ordinary letter, you know. It's a valentine. Oh, a valentine. Well, that is precious cargo. Who are you valentining to? Oh, it's to my pal, Jack Benny. Oh. <laughs> well, he is my pal. I believe you. You're sending it to New York, then? Yes, by way of Rochester. <laughs> Look, dear Jack Benny, thanks so many for being so sweet to me. Though I take beer and skittles for my usual vittles, for you, L.S., I'll have tea. <laughs> That's really very sweet. Yes, and look what Jack sent me. Oh, a heart-shaped box from Jack Benny. Yeah, and look what's in it. What in the world is that? A feather duster's mother-in-law? <laughs> oh, no, honey, that's Jack's toupee. <laughs> oh, that can't be his toupee. I've seen him many times, but I never saw him wearing anything like this. Well, Evie, this is an old one. He wore this when he was a boy. <laughs> Jack says it's his good luck piece. Oh, it looks more like a museum piece. You mean a heirloom? Oh! oh. <laughs> Gosh, I wonder how I'd look in one of these things. Hello, Miss Arden. Hello, Lionel. Where have you been? Well, with St. Valentine's Day approaching, I've been busy composing a lyrical sonnet in monosyllabic pentameter. <laughs> hey, uh, what's the matter, Lionel? Don't you say hello to me? Well, what a surprise. Hello, Mr. Benny. <laughs> Take off that toupee. Hey, it's Danny. You know, that's the first time I ever saw a head of hair with a head on it. <laughs> Danny, will you stop wearing that second-hand hairdo? Well, what else can I do with it? Well, why don't you throw it in the back of a wagon, call up a bunch of people, and you can all go for a hayride. <laughs> oh, Evie. <laughs> Say, Lionel, who are you sending your valentine to? Oh, a little girl whose picture I saw on the paper. My pin-up girl. Uh, oh, this has real suspense. Who can your pin-up girl be? You'll see. I'll read it. Yeah. It ain't that you're so pretty that makes me pen this note. I love you, Gravel Gertie. <laughs> Yours truly, Gravel Trout. <laughs> Gravel Trout? <laughs> Ain't that romantic? Say, Danny, what kind of a Valentine did you write? Well, on Valentine's Day, it's usual for the heart to grow warm and tropical. So I made mine a calypso. Calypso? What's that? Well, listen, and you'll hear. <laughs> I send Valentine greetings near and far To nobody in particular I address it with the heart and soul that yearn To whom it may concern RSVP Oh, 
Oh, boy, that was great, Danny. It was really great. Well, well, Ken Niles. Am I glad to see you. Well, hello, Danny. Hi, your gang. You know, I've just finished writing a valentine to my favorite. Your favorite girl? No, my favorite beer. Pabst. Listen. A valentine today I've penned in praise of my blue ribbon blend. A beer that's welcomed far and wide, that's bought with confidence, served with pride. I love each blend. I love each brew. Not 31 or 32. Blue Ribbon Beer, you know it's true. I love all 33 of you. Hey, I'm getting thirsty. Where'er folks go their beer to buy, Blue Ribbon's sure to satisfy. On Seidel's rim or glass's lip, it has the suds I love to sip. No better beer, no blend so fine. Oh, Papsty, be my valentine. I'll shout your praise for miles and miles. Your faithful boyfriend, Kenneth Niles. <laughs> you said it. About Paps Blue Ribbon, you ain't kidding. <laughs> Fibbin is the word on that. Oh, Fibbin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all very nice. But if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go down and mail my valentine. You want me to ring for the elevator, Danny? No, nah, no, nah, it's a beautiful day. I think I'll walk. But it's 20 floors. Well, then maybe I better take the elevator. See you later. Time of Calypso, sing it Oh, hello, Mr. K. <laughs> You're going up or down? Uh, I'm going down, Jellison. Oh, thank goodness. I hate to go up. <laughs> you do? Yes. Every time I go higher than the 20th floor, I black out. <laughs> you black out? Well, how long have you been operating this elevator? I just soloed last week. <laughs> well, you got your wings pretty quickly, didn't you? Oh, no. I had over 200 hours as observer on the freight elevator. Well, pilot, let's take off. Okay. Contact. Contact. <laughs> off we go into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> Say, you, uh, you go for this life, don't you? Oh, yes. I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Well, well, here we are. That was a nice, smooth trip. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh there's my next mission. Fifteen more and I get my furlough. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, where to this time? Non-stop to the mezzanine. Well, happy landings. Roger. Roger. <laughs> For a musical and vocal valentine, Buddy DeVito joins Harry James and his music makers as they play Cole Porter's famous love song, Night and Day. That the 
much longing for you follows wherever I go. In the roaring traffic's boom, or in the silence of my lonely room, I think of you. Night and day, day and night, under the height of me, there's an old such a hungry burning inside of me, and its torment. Won't be through till you let me spend my life making love to you day and night, night and day. Buddy, you sang that in a true Valentine spirit, which is perhaps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Say, Danny, on account of Valentine's, how about us doing a real romantic play? We're in, I am the leading man, and at least four beautiful women are swooning at my feet. Ah, oh, you only want four beautiful women, huh? Well, one beautiful one is enough, but the other three should have money. <laughs> uh, well, I have a little Valentine play we can do, and you, Lionel... You can be the lover. Ooh. Lionel, the lover? That'll set passion back 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> There's a swell part in it for you, too, Evie. There is? Yeah. You know, every Valentine play has a young, beautiful, and charming girl in it. Oh, is there a part like that in your play, Danny? Sure. And you're going to be her mother. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> well, if Lionel's going to be the lover, you're still doing me a favor. Who's going to be Eve's beautiful daughter, Danny? Well, you know that cute little thing in Harry James' orchestra? You mean the piccolo? <laughs> no, Lionel, I mean Kitty Callan. Oh, that's better yet. And Harry James is going to be Kitty's father. Wait a minute, Danny. What are you going to be? I'm going to be Cupid. <laughs> Dan Cupid. A wee winsome little cherub who runs around shooting golden arrows and makes love bloom all over like a vepsicle. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> that I've got to see. Oh, you won't be able to see me, Evie. Nobody can see Cupid. You see, he's invisible. Uh, Harry, could we have a little romantic music to kind of set the scene, kind of? <laughs> And our romantic scene opens, a tiny white car with a big red heart painted on the hood is speeding down the street on a very important mission with Danny K. Cupid at the wheel. Whee! When your heart goes bumpity-bump, be a bump, 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 Hey, put over to the curb. I don't want to. <laughs> You don't want it. No. Say, who's driving this car? I can hear somebody, but I can't see nobody. Well, naturally you can't see me. I'm invisible. <laughs> You're what? Invisible. Oh, you mean invisible. That's what I said. Invisible. Come on, now stop your starter. Oh, this man talks funny, don't he? <laughs> stalling, he says. Who's stalling? <laughs> I have a good mind to run you in. Who are you, anyhow? <laughs> I'm Danny K. Cupid. Cupid? 
Why, your little mugwump. <laughs> mugwump? <laughs> oh, what's a, who's a mugwump? You are. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a love arrow on you. <laughs> <laughs> Something stung me. Oh, 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 boy, I stung him, I stung him, I stung him. <laughs> Why, your little... Yes? Kiss me. I'm a buttercup. <laughs> Ain't love marvelous. Well, I gotta go to 118 Maple Street and do some troubleshooting. So long, officer. Goodbye, darling. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna tune in on my special Teflon Tevillision snooping machine and, 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 and see what's going on. Oh, gee, look at that. Ma, <sighs> we gotta do something about our daughter Kitty. She's a pretty girl, but she just don't know how to catch a man. Worse than that, Pa, she don't know how to let a man catch her. <laughs> Say, you know, she didn't even get a single valentine today. Come to think of it, you old buzzard, you didn't get me anything either. <laughs> oh, well, I think I'll go out to the front yard and see if I caught anything in my bear trap. Gee, what a beautiful night. And me all alone. Hello there, Kitty Poo. Don't be so downhearted. What? Who's that? A man? No. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm little Danny Cupid, and I'm invisible. And I'm glad you can't see me. Why? Because <laughs> I ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, don't worry. I got my bow and my arrows, and, I, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, 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 go, I'm gonna get you a fella. Oh, I'll never have a fella. I'm 19 years old, and I'm not even engaged. I'll probably never get married. Oh no! Don't give up, my little smitten kitten. Remember, a man without a woman, or a woman without a man, was never part of paradise's plan. It's like a poached egg. Without a piece of toast, Philadelphia. Without the Saturday Evening Post, Georgie Nathan. Without a plate to roast, and to make a man and woman rhyme, the wedding bells must chime. It's, it's never too late to Mendel's on Ding dong, ding dong, dell. Two hearts are a journey's end of fun. When the people hear the steeple bell, without the strain of low and grin, love is Misha or Yasha, without a violin, it's never too late to mend a song. Ding dong, 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 Oh, you're so encouraging, Cupid. I've been waiting so long for Prince Charming to come galloping to my side. Oh, there you are. You see, that's just a little example of Cupid's super snooper duper. If I can't get you, man, nobody can. Curb service. Oh, how wonderful. A knight in shining armor. Hi, beauteous one. <laughs> I wish to whisper words into thy shell-like ear. Yes? What do you wish to whisper? You got a bucket of water for my horse. <laughs> oh, my, this fella's tough. He's as tough as a hip up on top of the omnibus. <laughs> I'm gonna need a super sharp arrow to pierce his armor. <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> hey, stop shooting them holes in my armor. <laughs> ah, you missed me. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ha, 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 that's my delayed action arrow. <laughs> what happened? All of a sudden, I feel romantic. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Hey, you better turn around. You're talking to the horse. Ah, <laughs> oh, my knight. Raise your helmet so I can see your face. Very well. Here I am. Oh, no, I've been robbed. <laughs> oh, I got to do something drastic to overcome that puss. This is truly a... Psychological moment. Oh. <laughs> they wrote some big word in here. <laughs> it's so big for a three-year-old child. I better use a double-dipped arrow. Ooh. Oh, you beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful night. I sure fixed her 2020 vision. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, you two. Start necking. <laughs> Who's doing that talking? Your kid brother? No, that's Cupid, Dan. You're Kay Cupid. Where? Oh, you can't see me, Mr. Man. I'm invisible. Go ahead, Chuck. Kiss her. Oh, no, I won't kiss her while you're here. Run along now and leave us two alone. I don't wanna. Oh, come on. I don't wanna. You've done your job. Run along. I want to watch. Ah, oh, please, Cupid. Be a good kid and run along. Uh-uh. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes a message on my walkity-talkity. Calling Dan Cupid. Calling Dan Cupid. Go to 230 Park Avenue. An arrow is needed. That is all. Valentine. Cupid to headquarters. Cupid to headquarters. What did you say that address was? 230 Park Avenue. Get going. I know one. Why not? That's Tommy Manville's address. <laughs> he don't need no arrow. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Danny, how'd I do in a play? Was I convincing as the lover? Well, you convinced me. Convinced me that Van Johnson has nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, didn't I act all right? Well, that's just the trouble, Lionel. You see, you were acting. You weren't living the part. Now, according to Stanislavski... Stanislavski? What is that Stanislavski? Van Johnson spelled backwards? No, no, Lionel. Stanislavski was the famous Russian director who founded the Moscow Art Theater. Never heard of him. Well, Lionel, his teachings are being followed throughout the world. Let me give you a picture of one of his disciples. <laughs> Who is the world's greatest actor? And how did I get that way? <laughs> who made me a genius, the greatest projector who ever wore a toupee? Who made me most miserable Hamlet, the deadest Romeo who died for his bride. Who made me most awful Dr. Jekyll, and then made me hide. Stanislavski, Stanislavski of the Mosky, a theater Stanislavski, a director from the heart. I will never forget the day I first met the great master. He took me by the hand and beat my head against the wall. <laughs> and in one word, in one word, he told me the secret of the great Stanislavski method. Suffer! That's all. <laughs> Suffer! You must live before you give. Suffer! You must ache before you make. Suffer! You must think before you stink. Suffer! 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 Hello. <laughs> suffer! And the audience suffers with you. <laughs> Stanislavski! Stanis I will never forget the day. They give me first part to play. I'm supposed to play part of Sailor. But first I must suffer. What I'm going to do? I join Navy, become Sailor. First day out, big storm. At first I was afraid I was going to die. Then I was afraid I wasn't going to die. <laughs> but I suffer. I came back to Moscow, and in this part, I was wow. Here is what the great critic, Georgine Yasha Sasha Vladimir Nathan, said. Gospodin Gorachenko was a chemetron of Blacht, Tiflis, Krasivo, Bosho, I did it, I'm told, it's Ross, which in years is his last, which in years is his last, it's Ross, Niji, Biasti, Jibliet. Just like in America, three and a half stars. <laughs> So if you want career on stage, you mustn't dream of merely acting. Use the Stanislavski method of mental chiropractic. 
Be a tree, be a sled, be a belt of full of thread, be a storm, a piece of lace, a subway train, an empty space. Take it fast, take it slow, hello mo, hello Joe, I just got back from a wonderful show. Stanislavski, Stanis. <laughs> I will never forget the day. Luella Hopper said I stink. <laughs> I was playing part of Stable Boy. <laughs> it was a great Chekhov tragedy. It was beautiful. Everybody died. <laughs> I also played part in great Chekhov comedy. <laughs> Everybody died. <laughs> but they died happy. <laughs> this makes it funny. But I will never forget the day of my greatest triumph. I was playing part of Antique Mahogany Bureau. <laughs> so convincing in the third act, my drawers fell out. <laughs> and who is the man who loosened my screws? Who pulled me all apart? Stanislavski. Stanislavski of the Mosque. Ah! Boy, that Stanislavski method is really something. Well, Lionel, the Stanislavski method of acting may be amazing, but it doesn't compare with the Paps Blue Ribbon method of blending. You have to suffer with that method, too? No, on the contrary. The Pabst method is happy blending. Well, that sounds good. Elucidate, Niles. Well, Lionel, it's the method of blending never less than 33 fine brews, all blended together as only Pabst can do it, to achieve that delicious full flavor you find only in Pabst Blue Ribbon. So far, you intrigue me. Go on. In Pabst, you'll find the most tingling, appetizing flavor that ever flowed from a bottle. A smooth, even goodness that makes you say, this really is a great beer. So order it with confidence and serve it with pride. That's for me. From now on, you can consider me a booster of the Pabst method. We'll go places together. Ah, great. And no matter where you go, there is no finer beer, no finer blend than Pabst Blue Ribbon. Right you are, Ken. And now, before we pack our little duffel bags and hire his hands, I'd like to do a little pitching for a very vital cause. You know, many times when I've entertained our soldiers in camp shows and had the privilege of talking with them personally, I've been really impressed by the way they admire and respect the men of the Merchant Marine. Now, our soldiers know that without these men, the weapons for victory could never be delivered to the fighting fronts. And right now, more and more merchant seamen, mates, engineering officers, and seamen with A-B ratings are needed to do and carry on this big and important job. So... If you were one of the 200,000 experienced ABC men now working in shore jobs, send a collect telegram today to Merchant Marine, Washington, D.C., giving your qualifications and stating the job you want to fill. Remember, nothing takes the place of experience at sea. No green hand can fill the job waiting for you. So send that telegram tonight, now, and back up our men by going back to sea. Well, I know that every qualified man listening will answer that call, Danny. I hope so. And by the way, to all you listening friends of mine, I send a happy Valentine. May all your days be glad and bright and very merry. Good night. The program was directed by Dick Mack and was brought to you by the Pabst Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Peoria, Illinois. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.